welcome to a new DIY by Melzy London. So today we are going to make a Balmain inspired dress. Main focus here is the houndstooth print. I love this print. I think it's very classic. Got a large version of the print as well. So it's going to be a loud dress, okay? Right, we're going to start with the pattern pieces. Pattern piece gave me a full dress, a full dress. Um, I think I cut it about just below my knee, about a mini dress length. I'm also going to add that black fabric as a waistband, kind of at the bottom of the dress, and um, a cuff on the sleeve. So this is just the sleeve piece I'm showing you. is the dress kind of side by side and the portion I cut off for the black um, waist at the bottom and then the cuff for the sleeve. Clarifying all the pieces, I have the front piece which is cut on a fold and then two back pieces um, which are connected by the shoulders for the front and back and then the entire sides. I also did a dart from the shoulders down to about just below the your like your bra line um, and that kind of just brings it in this is stretchy fabric so I would say to go like half a size less than what you usually are this is an 8 to 10 um, kind of a classic fit UK standard sizing and I've done the sides and the shoulders. I've sewn the back darts in. So now I'm just gonna attach the sleeves onto the dress. When I sew my sleeves, um, I fold it in half. And then I will sew from the underarm down to the wrist. Then the sleeves would be sewn and then attaching it onto the skirt, I connect the shoulder head to the shoulders on the dress. So every piece of the dress is basically together and I've left the back open to insert the zip. Now we're going to add the black pieces, which is the cuffs and starting with the bottom. I've made it about four inches wide and then folded it in half um, and sewn the raw edges together. And then we can just flip it down. Now I need to add the cuffs on as well. And the same for the cuffs, I did it about four inches wide and then the length would be the length of your wrist and I'll probably add seam allowance, which is about one inch, one centimeter, sorry. So now we have the two cuffs. It's time to attach it to the sleeve. So we've got to put the cuff inside the sleeve on the raw edge. We're going to sew around the raw edge we're going to flip it out and then we're going to fold it back over itself and then kind of just make sure like all your edges are kind of surge overlocked and we have no fraying edges. This girl is coming together. So we need to now hem the neckline and that's going to be pretty simple just folding it in. Top stitching, the waistband is the best tip, just so it's not too bulky and it is laying flat. I used what I already had um, at home, but I thought this was great. The gold exposed zip, I think is just perfect. It is a metal zip as well, so it will carry weight onto the dress. Um, 
I originally pinned it so I could have a gap at the upper back, but it didn't really rest well. And so I replaced the zip and I absolutely love it.